Welcome back to Ferris Sports Update. Time to check in with Bulldog Volleyball. I'm joined by head coach Tia Branda Wilhelm. Coach, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks for having us here. I know another uh, busy day for you right in the middle of recruiting season, but also in the middle of your, your playing season. Yeah. And uh, uh, talk about maybe that balance uh, here at this time of the year, which is a little unusual. It is very unusual. Usually this time of year, we're, I mean, we're training a lot. So we're doing, you know, like small group training or, you know, we're practicing as a team, but, but we're just going to play scrimmages. So you know, it's just about getting better as, as a team and just improving as players. But now we're like actually playing games that matter and go into your record and, you know, they're giving away a trophy at the end of the season. So so everything really matters. Um, but this is also our, our heavy, heavy recruiting season. So we're not able to go on the road and watch the recruiting as much um, more because we're playing than necessarily COVID rules or anything. I think we're, we'd, we'd be able to get out there and see the kids because they're all playing in their clubs and stuff. But so we have to watch the video of them playing and then we watch our videos and then we watch our upcoming videos so of our opponents. So it's a lot of, a lot of that and then just kind of running around. We go to some of the footage from this past weekend. Obviously, uh, you took on Michigan Tech and a, a tough opponent that uh, really played well here on the weekend. Yeah, they did. And um, I think at times we played well too. So it was, um, so there, there's, there's some good out of it. Obviously you get two L's and it doesn't feel very good. But there's, there are some things that we did well. I think Tech played well um, the whole weekend, you know, the whole time. And so, you know, we just, there weren't really any times where their level of play faltered and we could kind of gain foothold. But, you know, even with feeling like we didn't do a great job this weekend, we still, you know, we, we lost in five, we lost in four. We were, we were kind of right there. Um, so there's definitely, you know, there's some things that we can tweak up, but there's also a lot of things we can look at and be excited about going forward. Obviously, you got off to a strong start uh, here in uh, Friday's match, won the first set. They came back, won the second set, but uh, again, your team responded and uh, took mm -hmm. a two-to-one lead in the match here yeah. in the third. Yeah, yeah, that's great to remind me that, <laughs> Rob. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, but, you know, we were up two-to-one, and then, you know, we just had, you know, we'd be playing along, and we had some moments where I just kind of fell apart, which is what we've been seeing i mean we're we're pretty inexperienced and so you you know you know that as a coach that that's gonna happen and when you're in the middle of it it's it's just a little harder to handle but um you know i, I like how our players responded i think that they responded by looking inward to each other um like not into themselves so much but really looking to their teammates and i think that's the sign of a really healthy team and and a team that's going to grow and get better Obviously, uh, Michigan Tech, a team that has a lot of uh, returning experience and uh, yeah, like, certainly like some everybody. talented players. Yeah, like everybody's coming back. So we could almost just use our scouting reports from last year. I mean, it was, yeah, everyone's back. And they played, you know, th those kids have been playing really hard for a lot of years. And, you know, they have a whole group of kids that have been starters for three or four years. So obviously uh, a challenge after uh, you drop that first match to come back uh, the, the following day and maybe yeah. uh, put your best foot forward. Uh, maybe talk about the way your kids responded going into to Saturday's match. So I thought we responded well on um, a team level for sure. Um, I think that maybe we were, we didn't quite respond well in our execution. It took us a while to start doing the things that we were like, hey, this is where we need to be a little better with our blocker. This is where we need to you know, do this a little bit better. It took us a while to do that on Saturday. So um, that would be the, you know, probably the disappointment of the weekend is just that we weren't able to make our changes quite fast enough. Obviously uh, on Friday's match, it was uh, you guys that got off to a quick start here. They get off to a quick start, but uh, your team uh, again didn't quit uh, after uh, dropping the first couple sets, came back and, w and won the third set. Yeah, won the third. And, and I felt like um, we finally were starting to do things a little bit more right. And that, but we, you know, just at that point, it was maybe a little too late, so. Obviously, uh, going uh, this weekend, uh, Katie O'Connell uh, leading you uh, on, on Friday's match, but uh, you've had some other kids that have stepped up and certainly posted mm -hmm. some good numbers here on the weekend. Yeah, I think it was, it was nice to see that um, as we played on Saturday, it was nice to see that our middles kind of got back into the flow. I think it'd been a, a couple weeks since they really hit well in game flow, so that was really nice to see. How uh, important was a, a trip like this in terms of the bonding experience, uh, having that long trip to Michigan yeah, Tech? Yeah, that's the thing. Like, in this in this incredible time that we're in, um, to have the opportunity to go be on a bus together for eight hours and to be in a hotel for a few days together and um, to share those meals. I mean, I mean, you hate losing, 
and at the same time, like it, it was just great to be on the bus and to finally have a chance to, you know, to, to, to be together as a team, you know, in a way that they could just spend time together, get to know each other, keep, you know, really building the relationship. So, so that part of it was pretty, pretty awesome. Obviously a three to one uh, score on Saturday and uh, you put these two I know behind you and uh, look forward and it uh, doesn't get any easier here uh, to get on Northwood this coming No, week. it doesn't. Northwood is another team that has, you know, they pretty much have everybody back from last year and um, it's, you know, they're and they're playing really well. They're super confident and, and it, you know, it, it shows in their results. They, they have um, done really well on the court and um, lots of lots of big wins for them. So. Uh, we know it's going to be another battle, and but that's you know that's kind of what we expect in the Gliac. I think for some of our younger kids, they're having to get a little bit used to um, the day in and day out. Like this is a battle every time you play, and every time you play, it's you know you're trying to defend something or win something. And um, I think we're getting used to that, but I do like how we are adjusting to that. So obviously a little different this weekend, a home and home uh, situation yeah. where you go to Northwood on Friday and then back at home uh, to take on the Timberwolves on Saturday. Yep, and so that's with our travel partner um, in the GLIAC. So the weekend you play your travel partner, you just, you know, you play one home and one away. So, which is kind of neat because it's nice to be, you know, to get a, a chance to have that other home game. Obviously uh, three weekends left uh, here in the conference season before uh, the GLIAC tournament. What are you hoping to see in terms of the progress of your team here moving forward? I wish we had, I wish we had like six or seven weekends <laughs> left. I mean, I just feel like we're starting to get better now. Um, you know, I just, I think for us it's, it's so coach speak, but I just think we're just trying to get a little bit better every day. And, um, you know, that's, that's exactly what we're doing. And I think, you know, we're a little younger, so we can get maybe instead of just 1% better, we maybe are just trying to get 2% better, but, um, I think in places that we've really focused, we've made really big strides and, you know, we're doing really well. And now we kind of got to go to that next level and improve a few other areas of both our offense and our defense. Well, Coach, thanks for being with us today. Absolutely. And uh, best of luck against Northwood this coming weekend. Thank you. That'll do it for Ferris Sports Update. A reminder, you can follow all the action and get all the results online at ferrisstatebulldogs.com. Have a great week.